Merry Christmas from the NW Sportscast, and we have some big news today. It is Christmas Eve, and Santa Claus has brought the Mariners a new present in the form of catcher Mitch Garver. So, my initial reaction to this signing, Mitch Garver, pretty good player. I had him ranked as one of my top 10 remaining free agent bats available. I had him at 9th, but a lot of my concern is simply because of injuries. He's never played more than 100 games in his career since he was 27 years old. He's now 32. So, past five seasons, he's suffered some injuries. However, if we use him more as a DH, we can maybe keep him healthy. And then in that sense, we might not have to hopefully get him injured so he can actually kind of be a contributing member to the team for the entire season, which is obviously what we want out of him. So Mitch Garver, a lot to like about Mitch Garver. He's got a lot of power in this bat. 10 home runs, 13 home runs, and then 19 home runs last season. So he can definitely hit for power. 19 home runs last season in only 83 games. So in a full season, that would be like 30-something home runs. Pretty good. We definitely need to improve the power in our lineup. So from that sense, I like it. The contract, it's a little bit big as far as just what the Mariners are looking to do this offseason because we end up paying him $24 million for two seasons. So that's $12 million annual value. I feel like in an ideal world, the Mariners probably wanted to get him for a little bit less than that, but it is what it is. You have to go out and improve your team in free agency, and for the first time this offseason, the Mariners are actually doing that. This is the largest contract that Jerry DePoto has ever given out to a free agent hitter since he became our GM. The last time we gave a free agent hitter a contract that was bigger than this, you have to go all the way back to 2015. Um, I believe that was Nelson Cruz. So it's been a long time since the Mariners have signed a free agent hitter. And uh, yeah, that's obviously good to see because you want to see a team that's going to invest in the, on, on the team, invest in the product on the field. And a lot of fans have been kind of going crazy this offseason saying they want to sell the team, you know, get some new ownership in here. The Mariners, this is the first step to, you know, kind of proving that wrong. Do I think this is the last move? I hope not, because I still think this is a team that needs a little bit of work. But it's a big upgrade, right? As far as backup catcher, Mitch Garver is a massive, massive upgrade over Sebi Zavala. Mitch Garver was probably the best backup catcher in the league last year, and he only played half the games in the season. So, yeah, big upgrade in that sense. It also kind of allows you to, though, Plug him in as a DH, because I have a feeling Mitch Garver's going to be our opening day DH. Just from a perspective of who's your who's your nine best hitters on the team, he's one of our nine best. He's probably one of our six best, realistically. So he's probably going to be hitting about fourth or fifth in our lineup, opening day DH. And then the question is, do you keep Sebi Zavala on the roster? Probably you do, and this probably means Cade Marlowe has lost his roster spot, which, if you guys know me, not a huge fan of Cade Marlowe, so I'm not... Very sad about that one. So ultimately, I think it's a good signing for the Mariners. I'm really happy that we made this move. And hopefully we get some more Christmas presents after Christmas because this is a team that still could use a little bit of work. But this is this is definitely good progress. Excited about this move. Excited to see Mitch Garver as a Seattle Mariner. And we up we thought we wanted Tom Murphy back, but we just upgraded from Tom Murphy. So congratulations to Jerry DePoto for making a very solid free agency signing this Christmas. All right, guys, this is the NW Sportscast. If you like what you see, subscribe down below for more content just like this.